Hello, I'm Eric Legdenslog with the Google Developer Relations team for AdMob. Today I will walk through how to get started with the Ad Catalog for Android, a sample project that demonstrates how to incorporate ads into your Android application. The requirements for this sample project are an Android SDK version 3.2 or higher, the Google AdMob SDK for Android, and an AdMob Publisher ID. This walkthrough will also be used in the Eclipse development environment. It is assumed that you have the Eclipse development environment as well as the Android SDK installed on your machine. The first thing we need to do is download the sample project. You can find it at code.google.com p slash google dash mobile dash dev. From here, click on the Downloads tab and find the most recent version of the ad catalog for Android. Now download the zip file to your file system. The next thing we will need is the Google AdMob SDK for Android. You can find this by going to code.google.com slash mobile slash ads. From here, click on the Download tab and find the most recent version of the Google AdMob SDK. Now download this SDK to your file system. Now that we have both zip files, we can extract them to a directory of our choosing. For simplicity, I will extract both the zip files to the downloads directory. The next step is to add the Ad Catalog project into Eclipse. Remember the assumption that you need both the Eclipse development environment as well as an Android SDK version 3.2 or higher pre-installed in your machine. To add the project, go to File, New, Project, Android Project, Create Project from Existing Source. From here, you can browse to the location of your Ad Catalog project and click Open. Now we need to set the build target. We have to set the build target to an Android SDK version 3.2 or higher. Now click Finish. Now we need to add the Google AdMob SDK to the project. To do this, we can right-click the project and go to Properties. From here, click on Java Build Path and then Add External Jars. Browse to the directory where you downloaded the Google AdMob SDK. Now select Open and finally hit OK. The last thing we will need is an AdMob Publisher ID to add to our sample project. You can find one by going to www.admob.com. Create an account if you don't already have one. Once you do, go to Marketplace, Sites and Apps, and Add Site or App. Now create an Android application by filling out the form below. It is okay to leave out the market URL at this time. When creating a site or app for your own project, you can leave this field blank and add it later once your project goes into the market. Once you fill out the form, click Continue. After adding your site or app, go back to the Sites and Apps page, and under the site or app you just created, click Manage Settings and find your AdMob Publisher ID. Copy your AdMob Publisher ID so you can use it in your sample project. Now that you have your Publisher ID, you can add it to the project by navigating to Res, Values, Strings.xml. From here, find the string AdMob-ID and replace it with your AdMob Publisher ID. Remember not to leave any trailing white space, as this will affect the publisher ID value. Now click Save. We are now ready to run the project, but first, let's look at what versions of Android are compatible with the project. By looking at the Uses SDK element, we can see that the Android Min SDK version is 4, meaning that we can run the project on any device version 1.6 or higher. Now let's select a compatible emulator for the project. You will want to create a new AVD if you don't already have one. I will use the Froyo HDPI AVD, which will run Android 2.2 with API Level 8. Now click Start and wait for the emulator to load. Once the emulator finishes loading, we can run the project by clicking on the Run icon. Select the AVD that we started up earlier to run the project, then click OK. That's it! We now have the Ad Catalog project running on the emulator. Feel free to check out our different use cases for banner and interstitial ads in the existing project. In the next version, we plan to focus on best practices for incorporating banner ads into different layouts, such as inside a scrolling view or a tab view. Here are some useful links for more information about the Google AdMob SDK. For help getting started, check out the documentation. For questions about the Ad Catalog or the Google AdMob SDK, check out our forum. For news updates and release announcements, check out our blog. And finally, for updates to the Ad Catalog and other sample projects, check out our code example page. Thank you for your time, and enjoy using the Ad Catalog.